Oh, yeah. Uh, today I asked the nature realm. Uh, I explained that the dark sometimes um, tells them that I might be interested in receiving a, a message that's not happy, right? But when the dark says that, the dark is not telling the truth. And they wrote it down in their book. I'm not sure what book that is. <laughs> to, and so they're instigating this procedure of um, understanding that uh, that it's not true uh, when when they hear that a human wants unhappiness, unhappy messages, and it could be worldwide. I I, I get the, you know they're all connected. They're all like one great soul. I should tell you sometime about fairy funerals, but, and it's, well, all right, I'll tell you. <laughs> um, fairies are never, I asked the fairies, and this is what they said. They're never unhappy. They never need to sleep. They, let me turn this off. So, they never need to sleep. They're, their hearts are open and joyful always, and they do great work for the world. Okay. When a fairy, uh, they're not like us with individual souls until they get to the Davic level, apparently. I read that part, okay, uh, from the Theosophical Society, um, Alice Bailey and those people. Um, I can't attest to that because I'm not, like, adept at that kind of thing. <laughs> but, but it seems true to me because of the way that that they instantly communicate with each other and when you sing a song to them uh, all you have to do is sing it once and every fairy knows it forever it's kind of cool so that from that perspective I'm guessing that Alice Bailey and those other great leaders of the early 1900s were right about the group soul thing so their line of evolution is different from ours but in, in essence and in purpose, in like tenor of, of energy, they're very close to us because their true, true nature, from which they never deviate uh, purposefully, is, is to express their hearts, their, their love, and their joy. And uh, ours is the same. Okay, so I was going to tell you about a fairy funeral. <laughs> um, one time, I was talking to the fairies some time ago, and I didn't know much about it, right? I was still asking lots of questions. I still don't know much, hardly. And so, uh, all of a sudden, I heard like a little scream, and, and, I, and I felt a fairy, a fairy wink out of existence, right? And, and I'm, going, I'm going, oh my God, what happened? <laughs> because I'm very excitable in that way. I don't like to see things like that, or even think things like that, or hear things. And so, oh, they said, he stepped on her. And I'm going, oh my God, you know. But their point of view is very different, you know. They said, that's okay, that's all right. We're going to have a wonderful funeral for her. And uh, so what they do is they, they take, like, flowers and like that, and they put them on, and, they ca and carry them on, like, st you know, sort of a beer. And they carry them in memory of the fairy that has gone, uh, who's, they said that the, like the um, knowledge and understanding and experience of that fairy goes into their own understanding, you know, so that the fairy is never really gone in their own hearts, right? But, but just as a um, kind of a ceremony and to remember the beauty, beauty of that, that life, they carry this beer of like flowers and garlands and like that and they sing a song for the fairy it's pretty cool and so anyway so bye there are some slogans that have been repeating slogans or key keywords or bylines that have been passing around through the clairaudient realms lately and my feeling is that these are very carefully phrased uh, to create a negative energy in the human heart that's fairly mild and not so easily detected as something more spectacularly worded would be. And so I thought I'd mention a couple of these because, uh, because you, can, you can ask the natural 
uh, world, the the Davic realm, to work with you in eliminating them from your like telepathic uh, scenario. Um, what I've been running into is, for instance, I hear sometimes this relationship is at an end, and I also hear, let's see, from the other end, I hear my life has no quality. That's another phrase. And then just as a um, final example, I hear he or she, or in, in some cases, you, have no personality. Okay? So, um, if these phrases feel negative to you, to your own heart energy, what you can do is just say to the nature spirit, say, um, explain that you that energy is not for you okay the energy of that phrase is not for you or any other phrase that repeats that you hear okay then um, you know nature spirits come in all different specialties there there's so many and so many different specialties now, every nature spirit knows about all these specialties, so you don't have to be an expert in it. But I will, uh, so what you can do is you could say, I'd like to do this and such work, and then ask for the nature spirits that deal with that, and, and so they know what to do. All right. <laughs> and I'm going to give you two examples as a heads up of things that I've discovered. Um, there are Cupid nature spirits. Cupid. The art of love, right? Don't call them unless you're good and ready. Take my word for it. <laughs> okay? So they're hard to dissuade once they've decided. <laughs> but, I mean, they will listen. <laughs> you... One thing you can do in case you inadvertently call a Cupid nature spirit is ask it to go to the nearest person that, that, that is really interested in that kind of work, and then they will take off like a flash and, and head in another direction. <laughs> so there's that. And here's another suggestion. Let's say that, that you love singing and that you don't have such a good voice, like me. <laughs> First, know that the nature spirits don't mind. If you're singing from your heart, they love it anyway. Okay, that's the first thing. So don't be shy. If you want to sing, sing. But here's a trick I've learned. You'd like to sing a song, right? And you'd like it to sound a little bit better than, than your own voice. Then you can call a muse of music, M-U-S-E of music, right? They are wonderful. Ask them to sing for you and see what happens. And if you're not too sure about a muse of music, you can ask for an angel to step in and sing for you and see what happens, okay? These are only two examples. There are many different specialties. So, and pertinent to many people, there are nature spirits that deal with the health of the physical body. So if you have a pain, you can ask them to remove it. If you have a restriction in your movement, you can ask them to look into it. And like that. The sky's the limit. 